what is the cloud? Uh, the cloud is a, is a way to describe something in the market today that people are using many, many different terms to describe. Those terms include internet-based, web-based, cloud-based, software as a service, which you'll hear people refer to that as SaaS, or they'll also use the term hosted. All those terms are being used to describe the same thing, which is delivering software, typically over the internet, uh, to the terminal in front of you, and that terminal can be a laptop or an iPad or a tablet or anything like that. Essentially what, what all those terms mean is the software you're using isn't located on the, the device that's sitting in front of you, rather you're using that device to access the software which resides somewhere else, typically in the data center of the vendor that you're using. Cloud's important to small businesses and small law firms in particular for a handful of reasons. Uh, one, uh, delivering software through web-based application can reduce complexity, uh, reduce costs, it can increase reliability and security, um, increase accessibility and mobility. So let me just touch on some of those points one at a time. We can reduce complexity because there's a, there's a certain complexity that comes along with installing servers and software in the small law firm. Delivering software over the web can eliminate a lot of that complexity. At that point, the, the law firm can simply turn the software on, get trained and use it. A lot of that burden of setup is reduced. The reduced costs come along with that reduced complexity because you're not buying servers, you're not buying hardware. The one-time costs can be deferred and spread out through the, over the course of the subscription period that, that is the software as a service delivery over the web. Uh, the increased reliability and security is because we're using our data centers and our infrastructure to provide that software to our customers and as a result they benefit from all the investments we've made to deliver a, 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 a product like Westlaw. Um, and that means that our security is, is world class, our backup systems are world class, um, our fire suppression systems are world class, pretty much everything we have in our data centers is world class and our customers benefit from that. And then finally, because we're delivering the software uh, over the web, uh, it means it's accessible anywhere you have an internet terminal with an internet connection, and typically that's a web browser, but in some cases that can mean um, a software application that has web access available to it as well. But the bottom line is it's available 24-7 um, whenever you need it because we're keeping it on for you all the time, in addition to the fact that um, you can access it from anywhere you have uh, an internet connection. Problems law firms are solving with web-based software are the traditional problems that are being solved by software. They're just taking that software and moving it outside the law firm. Uh, example is the Exchange server for providing Microsoft Outlook. Uh, many law firms have had that Exchange server outsourced, so it's being provided by a hosting company that delivers the Exchange server and all the benefits of it without the law firm having to deal with that complexity. Another example um, that's used heavily is litigation support software. Um, there's many, there are many, many tools uh, that are used in the litigation workflow that law firms are, are having provided to them by vendors um, over the web rather than installing that software on the premise of the law firm. Uh, another example is disaster recovery data backup. So all the critical information that's in the law firm, uh, uh, one of the best practices today is have that data backed up um, in a different location. Typically, that's a vendor-provided location, a data center that's somewhere else. So the law firm has access to that data in the event of a catastrophe of some sort, um, you know, where the law firm's located. And then finally, uh, there's, there are back office systems like accounting and time of billing that can be provided over the web. Essentially, uh, any software package that's being delivered to law firms today probably has an analog that can be delivered over the web. Um, that doesn't mean that that specific software package can be delivered over the web. It means that there's something that does about the same thing that can be delivered over the web. Uh, best practices for law firms investigating uh, web-based software. Number one, know your, your local laws and your local ethics guidelines. And then talk to your vendor about, about the important facets. And, and while these facets can be different from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, there are some important questions that you should ask. Number one, who owns your data? You want to make sure that you maintain ownership of your data. Number two, know where your data is stored. And the jurisdiction becomes important from the laws that govern the data as it's stored. Number three, you want to make sure that your data is protected both as you transmit it to the vendor and then while the vendor stores it. So that typically takes the form of encryption as it's transmitted and encryption while it's stored. And you want to make sure that that encryption is uh, um, put together in such a way that nobody can see your data regardless of who they are or where they're at in the process. And number four, you need to know that you can get your data back at any time. So you want to make sure that, that, that the vendor will provide you tools and guarantees that your data is available even in the event that you dissolve your relationship with the vendor. Uh, so that's point one, that's, that's how you talk to your vendor. And then number two, my, my advice to law firms investigating the cloud is be honest with yourself about your increasing reliance on the internet as it pertains to your business and how critical it's become. I think some law firms are hesitant to embrace the cloud because they, they're worried about the, 
the fact that their internet connection may be intermittent or it, go, it may go away. Um, more and more as we move into the future, you're going to see more, more and more powerful tools become more and more accessible over the internet. And, and what that means for law firms is maybe thinking about more internet redundancy rather than shying away from those tools. So what does internet redundancy mean? It means having a second internet line, something like a Wi-Fi hotspot or something that allows you to take advantage of all the internet has to offer and not be relying on a single internet connection as a point of contact where your business shuts down if that internet connection is gone. So we hear a lot of law firms, very progressive firms, who are moving to multiple redundancies both in their providers and their internet, their internet connection providers and their software providers. And, and that allows them to be really world class with a lower cost basis and more predictive costs.